Previously... I can't say that I'm only happy about yours and Shane's relationship. What, you think he's moving too fast? Being out bushes inspires some of my best ballads. You write me one? How could me have eaten death cat mushroom? Two people were poisoned by the food that came from here, mate. But there's no danger anymore. You're still responsible for a serious health violation. There has to be consequences. Oh, whatever. You just want me to suffer like Bee has. It's not personal, Kyle. I'm a cop. I have to do my job. Yeah? Well, since when do jobs come before family? No, no, you no, don't start fighting again! at risk, mate. What else was I supposed to do? Are you do? kidding me? No, 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 it's hard for all of us. What are we all standing around for? Can I get a latte to go? Thanks. You have to get us somewhere else. We've been shut down by the council. Need any help boiling the billy? Just a bit of lingo to get you into the bush ballad poetry mood. <laughs> what rhymes with Amy? <gasps> Hot and flamey. <laughs> kind of a bit of a hard one to rhyme with, actually. It's similar to orange. Oh, well, Lucky Shane's a poet, Toadie. Mm. And poets need space to create. Yeah, but it's good to get a kick in the pants. Oh, it's Jay. I'm going to take this in my room. Oh. You two have been talking a lot recently. That's good. I'm glad you two are staying mates. Yeah. Uh, could you ask him to get Dippy to call me? Sure. You need to talk to Dippy? Yeah, the updates about Jay have been from his mouth, which is fine, but... Bit unreliable. <laughs> not that Dippy's up for a chat. Just texts here and there, mostly there. You'll find a rhythm, mate. Yeah. That you will, my bush poet, you. <laughs> now, if you need any more inspiration for your ode to Amy, I could go and, like, Put on some outfits, twirl around, you know, showcase my many moods. Uh, I think I've got more than enough to crack on with. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have any other choice. B, I'm a cop. You're a canning. I'm both. No, not today. You you shut down your family's business and you completely ignored my wishes. The poisoning is a matter of community health. It was a freak accident. Kyle and Roxy feel so terrible about it. Yeah, not terrible enough to come clean about it. Oh, so that's what this whole thing's about. No one was honest with you, so you just dobbed them in? What? You really think I'm that petty, B? Come on, you weren't the only one that got hurt. The judge got hurt as well. Yeah, and I don't think this is about her at all. I think you're jealous because you were left out of everything that happened. Oh, so I reported the tram as revenge. Oh, come on, B. You really think I'd do something like that? Levi. Be still in recovery. Keep it calm. All right, you'll get. Oh, you beat me again. <laughs> All right, go put your shoes on. I'll take you for your play date. Okay. You haven't written very much. I haven't written anything. I only just sat down. Don't these things work better as a surprise? Yeah, you're probably right. I'll take my cupper outside. Do you want to keep me company? Oh, I'm sorry. Work just called. I've got to head in. The council is investigating the 82 for a possible poisoning case. Poisoning? Yeah, I know, right? No, that doesn't sound right. Kyle doesn't keep a grubby kitchen. Well, I, I didn't see anything last week, so hopefully I haven't missed anything. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm half wishing I could get out of this. I've no idea what to write. It's not like you to have a drying pot. Well, ballads are a personal thing for me. Can't just whip something up for someone I've only just started dating. Hmm. When was the last time you wrote one? Just before Dippy and me had our 20th wedding anniversary. Didn't finish it, obviously. OK. Maybe you want to have a word with Amy. Just let her know how you're feeling. Nah, nah, she's, she's too excited about it. I'm not, I'm not letting her down. Especially when she seemed so flat before. She was upset? Yeah. Yeah, something really bummed her out. I see you escaped. Escaped what? The pain of watching your brother write a poem about me. I upset you earlier, didn't I? You know, it wasn't easy hearing that 
I'm always going to be runner-up to Dippy, at least in your eyes anyway. But I've since um, realised that your opinion doesn't matter. No, never said it did. Because despite what you think, we're really good together. Amy, I don't mean to devalue anything, but it is still early days. No, not too early for him to have feelings for me. I mean, why is he in there writing me a damn poem? I am so sorry again, Carl. I'll let you know if there's any updates. Bye. Do you want me to call the staff, suppliers, pause their contracts? Nah, it's all good. I've got it. Uh, this is the last of the perishable foods, love. I guess I suppose I'll take it home. Or we could donate them, do some good. That's a nice idea. Oh, there wouldn't be any cross-contamination, would there? Oh, come on, Gran. You know we scrubbed this place clean. Oh, sorry, love, I know. I just think we're going to be eating a lot of pies and pastries and eggs over the next few days. Yeah, not sure I can stomach that. I know it's bad now, but maybe it will blow over. Doubt it. We'll never leave this one down. Why well, couldn't Levi just look the other way? You know, giving me a second chance. What's done is done, love. Oh, I got that right. Still here? Yeah. I don't know what's going on between you and B, but it can't be more important than a hell. No, mate, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I guess it's just hard to keep my cool when everyone's laying into me, you know? She she thinks I should have just kept quiet. Even accused me of having a personal vendetta. Are you sure it isn't? I mean, your girlfriend's in hospital. It's only natural that you'd want someone to pay. Maybe that's exactly what B was trying to avoid. Not only for Kyle and Roxy's sake, but for Sheila's too, given her heart condition. Yeah. And this can't be good for it, eh? I should have just kept my mouth shut, man. You did what you thought was right. And perhaps it was. But right now what B needs is a home that's a place of comfort, not conflict. So no more arguments, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> a plaque acknowledging the traditional owners of the land is great, but especially teamed with a First Nations hiring program. I think Jacinta will love it. Yeah, well, Acidus hasn't done nearly enough to be inclusive in the past, but I'm gonna be changing all of that. It was me, okay? I was the one who picked the poison death cat mushrooms, put them in the gravy, and they ended up in the pies. I assume you're talking about the council investigation. The council should be going off at me. Carl shouldn't cop it for something he didn't even know about. Not at the start, anyway. Please get them to reopen the tram. Or fine me, or charge me, or do anything instead, please. I can't help. I'm a youth sustainability advisor, emphasis on youth. And I only just started the job. It's his dad's place. It's the only thing he has left of Gary. I'm so sorry. I, I wish things were different. OK, it's done. Already? Yeah, when the inspiration hits, uh, the words flow faster than Broken River. <laughs> oh, you are in the mood. I didn't even have to parade around in cute outfits. Come on, I wish you had. <laughs> What's it called? Amy's light. OK, go on. When night hangs its boots and the sun starts to rise, all the stars fall away, except the ones in her eyes. And those eyes burn with warmth, like a crackling fire, filling my heart and my head with desire. With soft curves beguiling and a sinuous stream, she dances as though she's awake in a dream. And when the sun sets, her smile stays bright. Another day dusted in Amy's light. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you really are a poet. It's a little, little something, something. I didn't know you were so romantic. You like it? I love it. <laughs> hey, and you know, <clears throat> while you were writing, 
uh, everybody went out. Well, uh, perhaps we should take advantage of that fact. I know we should. Oh, hang on. Could be dippy. What happened, mate? There were death cap mushrooms in our grub. Oh, wow, those things are deadly. I know. B ate them in a pie. That's what landed her in hospital. In a pie? The roux pies. I was going to feed them to Nell and Hugo. I oh, know, I'm sorry, mate. There's no excuse. I should have shut it down when I realised. Why didn't you? That's Dad's place. I was trying to save it. Gary would never have wanted you to put people's lives at risk, Kyle. You don't muck around with things like this. You could have killed someone. Oh, no. There's no coming back from what I've done. All the stars fall away, except the ones in her eyes. That's a beautiful line. For a beautiful woman. And those eyes burn with warmth. Are my eyes warm? I think they are, yes. But they're blue. But people don't usually describe them as warm. Oh, poetic license, isn't it? When have you ever seen me dance? Maybe at the lip sync event, but you hardly be described as though awake in a dream. Uh, you always embellish a little bit when you're writing a ballad. It's with the Inquisition. I don't think that this is about me. Yeah, of course it is. You skipped to the line about your, uh, your smile, though. I'm on the one about the soft curves. I don't really have those. And when the sun sets, her smile stays bright. Another day dusted in Amy's light. Amy's light? Or Dippy's light? What do you mean? This is about Dippy, isn't it? <sighs> Gran, if you're gonna give me a spray, please don't, okay? Bee's already done it. And you shouldn't be getting yourself worked up. You need to look after yourself. I'm not here to have a crack at you. I'm here to visit B. Oh, OK. Yeah, well, she's pretty annoyed at me at the moment. I don't know, I thought telling her the truth would make things easier. Truth doesn't always work out that way, love. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder, maybe I should have just let it go. I mean, the true canning would have put his family first, even if it meant being dodgy. We're not all dodgy crims, you know. Then why am I always on the opposite side of my family, Gran? On the side of the law? You are a true canning. Now, come on, let's get this sorted. B. Hey. Oh, hello, love. Oh, I don't want to talk about this again. No, look, I was thinking about what happened. No, no, I'm not interested. <sighs> Amy's light, huh? <laughs> You're lucky it's not blinding you right now. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have repurposed an old poem. Though, technically, it's a new one. I never finished it and I never gave it to Dibby. What happened? Like, did you need more time? Because I could have waited. Uh, I don't know if that would have made any difference. Well, I haven't written anything since I've been in recovery. And I love being with you, Amy, I really do. But it's a bit too early in our relationship for me to be writing you a ballad. It was just a few silly lines. No, no, it's not. Not to me. It's how I express myself. I just thought it'd be fun. I know, and I... I feel terrible. I should have said something. I'm sorry. Let's just forget it. Just go and get a coffee or a drink or something. OK. I'll just grab my wallet. Mm -hmm.
Kendrix, I'm not gonna talk to Harlow for no, you. No, 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 Kendrix, she still cares about me. She helped me with school. Look, I know this is hard, but please stop asking me. You're both my friends. I, I don't want to get in the middle of this. Harlow helped you because she cares about you. But, but you guys are done. So I just give up? Go back to being alone? No, no, you're not alone. You've got me. You've, you've got the Kennedys, Chloe, your dad. Sleazebag Grayson. I told that guy to stay in Sydney. He's the last person I want to see. Feeling better? Not really. But it's not about me. I've done some airheaded things in my life, but destroying a legacy. Okay, look, the tram is only temporarily closed until the investigation plays out. I'm sure it will be back open in a week. Or selling cheap parts to the highest bidder. Okay, now you're catastrophizing. <laughs> no, I'm not. This is really happening, Arnie T. I've destroyed an empire and lost a boyfriend, all because of foraging. No, you haven't lost a boyfriend. Yet. He can barely look at me. And who could blame him? I've ruined his life. Oh, catastrophizing. I know Carl is angry at me. I can feel it. And this is too big of a mistake to expect forgiveness. But that's up to him, not you. And even if he does forgive me, how could he ever trust me again? Sweetheart, Carl loves you. And love can survive the craziest of things, even this. You know what I reckon? I reckon if he was here right now, he would give you the biggest hug and tell you not to worry about a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really do. So, when you invited me over for pie, I could have cucked it. There are easier ways to get rid of me, Toadie. I'm just thinking about Nell and Hugo. What if one of them ate it? Well, they didn't. Mm. It's probably a good thing that the tram is shut down for a bit, even though, you know, it's, it's going Kyle. Dippy will call when she can, mate. I'm just wondering what the hold-up is. Hasn't she got heaps of friends in Sydney, babe? Like, she's probably catching up with them. Let's take this outside, eh? Um, hey, you guys go. I'm gonna get a water. Hey, we're in each other's orbits today, aren't we? Um, <clears throat> look, I heard you mention that your dad was in Sydney. And? I was kind of hoping for his number. I just wanted to apologise to him about, you know, what I said at the lip sync event. Well, isn't that more about slagging off Dippy? Yeah, it's still involved him though, you know. He might be a little upset. <laughs> This isn't about apologising to my dad. Huh? It's about sucking up to the Rebeccas. You're trying to be the better woman. <laughs> I'll give you the number. Stay angry with you for long, love. And once she calms down, you can talk properly. Yeah, I can't see that happening anytime soon. Girl. Why are you so upset? I thought you were at home. You got what you wanted. Shut down. You should be dancing on the ceiling. Oh, come on, mate. You think I'm happy everyone's arguing? Well, what do you care? Family means nothing to you, you traitor. Oh, Kyle. Right, come on, Grand, let's go home. I will be there in a bit. Why stay? Both know he's a lost cause. I know it's terrible what's happened, but you can't take it out on Lever. People have to own their mistakes. I learned that far too late in love. You didn't want him going public either, Grant. Yeah, well, I've had a think about it since then. And I know it's kicked up a terrible stink, but I think Levi made the right call. And after all the shady things you've done to protect our family, you call yourself a canning. Hi. Uh, is this Pierce Grayson? Um. I'm a friend of the Rebecca family, and um, I'm actually calling about Dippy. She's been a little worried about the trouble that her son and Hendrix got into down in Melbourne. She's in Sydney right now, actually, um, and she didn't really want to call you, so I was thinking maybe you could call her, like, 
get together and talk about it? Great. Maybe don't mention that I called. You know, she might be a little embarrassed. Okay. Coming up on Neighbours. Is there something going on between you and Brent? What did you tell them? Sure, feel sorry for Levi. I'm sure he's hurting real bad. Maybe a kiss? No, no Levi, stop. Stay away from her. See, I reckon that's up to Harlow. You're gonna hear me and listen to me whether you want to hear it or not. <laughs>